Tomorrow never comes and things start to look pretty dark pretty quickly. In this video, I'm going to explain the real reason I'm on the carnivore diet. It's quite personal and it's something I've kept to myself until now. And even though I've alluded to this in previous videos, I haven't gone into the detail of what it is. So let me do that in this video. And you might be thinking, if it's personal, why are you sharing this on YouTube? And that's a good question. It's because in the month that I've been running this channel, I have found the community to be strong and super supportive. And I'd like to share how the carnivore diet got me out of a hole. And hopefully I might be able to reach someone that also needs some help to get out of a hole. So let's dive in. But before we do, do me a massive favor and smash the like button and consider subscribing. This really helps me to build the channel and be another voice out there promoting the carnivore diet. Thank you so much. So what's the real reason? Why am I actually on the carnivore diet? And I've never actually said this out loud before. I was on the verge of alcoholism. I was an alcoholic. The only thing that would separate me from being a true alcoholic on paper was the number of drinks maybe wasn't right up there. But it wasn't far away. How did I get to that point? There's a number of factors. One was the enforced isolation we've had over the last few years due to the illness. Working from home, not getting out of the house very much, not seeing friends as often. When you're not able to get out of the house very much, drinking at home becomes really easy. Another thing is that I've always used alcohol as a social crutch. It might not seem like it now, but up until I was in my 30s, I was extremely shy. At any party, any club, any bar, I would be the wallflower. And I've used alcohol as a social lubricant to overcome my shyness. Trouble with that is, it's a slippery slope. Alcohol also became a distraction from the pain I was experiencing from the arthritis that I now had in my left knee. And all through the first half of this year, I kept telling myself, this is getting worse, you need to do something about it. But like a lot of things in life, there's always tomorrow. I'll just have this one more drink and I'll quit tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes and things start to look pretty dark pretty quickly. Anyway, this all came to a head in June this year when I saw my doctor about a different matter. The topic of drinking came up and I got a stern talking to from my doctor. He told me straight that I needed to quit or things were going to spiral out of control very fast. He actually wanted to put me on a special drug that would help me quit. This is a drug that makes you violently ill if you take the drug and then later on have some alcohol. It acts as a deterrent. Hearing this made me really scared. And maybe frightening me was the real intention of my doctor. Maybe he just wanted to wake me up. Anyway, I told him I didn't want the drug and I was going to work on this myself over the next few weeks. That was June 3 and I haven't had a drink since. I decided I was going to change my lifestyle and I decided to go back to a diet that I knew. This was a diet that had made me feel more in control of everything about myself than anything else had ever done in my life. Keto. I started keto that day and within a week I was feeling better and keto had morphed into OMAD keto. A week or so later it had morphed into carnivore. And the rest is history. I'm now more in control of my life than ever. I feel healthier than I ever have before. And I'm not going back. And if you're out there suffering, trying to get off alcohol or trying to get off any kind of dependency, I urge you to try carnivore. It'll be tough at first, but it will give you superhuman willpower. I can now sit at a table with my friends as they are drinking and I don't feel any urge at all to drink. Thank you for watching. Please smash the like button, consider subscribing, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.